Okay, welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Age 2. Uh, I've reset my companions to my, you know, Aveline, Isabella, and Meryl. Uh, leaving my sister behind for now, Merrick, what have you. This is, uh... You must really like the Hawk family. Why do you say that? You came all the way from Lothering with them, didn't you? And they're not even your clan. Clan. Humans don't have clans, Meryl. Exactly. You came so far together, and you didn't even have a keeper to make you get along. So your keeper tells you to stop kicking each other, or she'll turn the Aravel around. <laughs> Sometimes she also warns us to stop pulling hair. Ha! Huh. Let's see here. We did get uh, probably the dragon thing for ingredients. Dragon's Fang. Okay. I will go back over here and talk to these guys. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messiah. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders. The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. Yeah, there are others that are missing? I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. So why are you care why are you eh, why do you have to keep quiet? Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. A knight lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. Uh, so you've come this far. You're already defying orders to talk to me. Might as well share the good stuff. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Ah. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. Uh, can I talk to him? If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Cullen? Cullen? I think I remember a Cullen. So outside, so there's a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, let's go here. The mud's cap. A little random outside area. Do do do. I miss winds haste so much. Oh, okay. Do, do, do. That's familiar music. And trust they be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now. Yeah, I remember Mercy, him. Sir. Mercy. Were it that easy? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I will know where you're going, and I will know now. I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Ha. Huh. Nice to see you're branching out. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human. To me! Okay. I didn't think non-mages could do that. Then again, you know, the stuff that Templars do. Us. The, the powers that Templars have, like... That, that, that's almost magic. Uh, Wilmud. Let's go after Wilmud. Wil Wilmud. And backstab him. Okay, and. Okay. What's the fella doing? 
She has a. Oh, that's right, she has a. Oh, these guys, they're a pain. I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this. Is it even possible? Was he an abomination? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. Oh, okay. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. Well, okay. With what I've bumped into in Kirkwall, nothing surprises me anymore. No. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Uh, let's see here. Why did you attack him? If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. So what do you think happened? Do you know what happened to Wilmard while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Yes. Wilmard has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Hmm. Majors cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the circle. Not all mages are bad, sir. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. Yes. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm looking, uh, let's do this. Where there's one demon, there's usually more. Where do we start digging? I fear it is time to widen this investigation. My discretion may have cost me one of our best recruits, Wilmot's friend Karen. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. Ah. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies. <laughs> I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. Uh. I'd be willing to search there. The order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. I love these little cameos by uh, minor characters from the first game. And even the cameos from the major characters in the first game. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself, I guess. Little mud. And stuff. Okay, I'm gonna leave the area and go to. Uh, abandoned ruins. Let's. Um, <laughs> Back to the wounded coast. I think not. Let's see. Back to work. Loose ends. Again, I've completely forgot what I'm going after. Yeah. Forgot what the title of the quest was. I do that every now Idiot and then. Idiot thugs and their gangs. Always around at night. But there's good coin in getting rid of them. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's see this way. And I have to go over here. Blooming Rose. The blooming rose is, uh, yeah, she's gone. Okay. I have to visit, uh, what's her name in the daytime, so we'll just go to the blooming rose. Market's closed. 
come back in the morning. Yeah, that's uh, kind of rosish. Not really blooming. Uh, yeah. Any comments? Any comments? Nope. Okay. Do you need something, honey? Uh, let's see here. Uh, do you know Wilmud or Corinne? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. Uh, let's see here. The Templars are the ones who want this information. We make a lot of our money off of nervous Templars that expect some privacy. I'll be discreet. Here's my uncle again. Let Jeez. me look through the books. Wilmud, Karen... Here we go. Wilmud came in here a lot. Ooh. You sure he had time to be a Templar? Ha! The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the east. Exotic wonder? That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Darktown. Ah. You should hear what some of the others are called. <laughs> uh, I have what I need. Thank you for your help. Sure thing. And listen, you didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? We're clear. Hi, Gemlin. I won't mention this to your mother if you can. Um, hang on. No, oh, that's the wrong way. That's over here. No, I'm just exploring. Never mind what I'm doing, I'm just exploring. Trying to find... Oh, there's that. Just uh, walking around. This place has lots, like, lots of rooms. And who are these guys? Okay, I think those are guys I'm supposed to fight later, or with a different quest or something. I knew there was like something like that in here. Do men find you intimidating? What about Wesley? Did he? Isabella. What? Too soon? Too soon, too personal, too... Everything coming from you. Oh, sore spot. If you don't shut up, I'll give you a sore spot. Ha! <laughs> oh, I love these. Okay. This is uh, for the missing woman wife. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Ah! Oh, I like him. He reminds me of someone. He does? Who is it? Think about it, kitten. Well, you couldn't have meant Varric because he's not even an elf. Oh! Oh, you were referring to yourself. Sorry. See? I knew it had come to you. I can see why Nanette liked you. You're feisty. <laughs> A refreshing change from the pale slug I married. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. You seem fond of her. Were you hoping Nanette would leave Ghislaine for you? Of course not. I know my place. I offer a service, that's all. Anyway, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. Uh. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Are you sure about that? Any chance Ninette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. 
Anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Uh, it was, you know, them. Someone else Nanette yeah. spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Neat. Okay, that continues that, and we'll go over here and continue this. And this is the uh, missing uh, Templar guy. You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. I don't think so. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. What, uh, wh whatever do you mean? Do -do. Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Woo! Are you certain we can't postpone this, Hawk? You should listen to your friend. Um... What's wrong with you? We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? You really can be quite a bore. You know that, right? As charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? Uh-oh. It was Vivica. She showed me her books. Ew. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. Uh, Meryl. Meryl, make it, Duna. Stop. This ends now. How did you? Oh shit! Oh shit! Spare me, Messer. Uh, no. You're just too dangerous. You have to die. No. No. Yep, there she goes. Bye. Let's search her things. I bet she's got more secrets. Okay. Isabella liked what I did there. Okay. Hmm. Apostate prostitutes? Apostitutes! <laughs> <laughs> it seems these mages hide in the city. Apostitutes. Sorry about the mess. Prostitutes. That's funny. Okay. One more place. Um, let's see. We'll travel and continue the apostate thing. There's always pretenders out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too. Okay, so. Uh, Darktown for sacrifice. I think I think they said Darktown, right? Uh, yeah, Darktown. We shall continue. Okay, talk to Anders. I guess we can talk to him. Just let us do a couple of these quests first. Sanctuary! Was that... Which one? Oh, that's for the... I'm seeing... Hang on, that one is... Yes, the meeting place. I think that's... A little confused. I'm a little confused. So many... It's like... So many directions you can go with this game. It's not a whole lot of... Focus. Here? 
the meeting place? Well, I guess we'll try this one. Where's Puddle? Not exactly certain this is the one quest we're supposed to be on. I think maybe this is... Yeah, this is uh, Emmerich. This is the missing girl. A uh, missing wife. Well, we can do this too. Okay. Boom. One more for me. We're keeping score, right? Okay. Oh, guy. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, Evelyn. Yeah, go, girl. Ooh. I thank you, Sira, for coming along when you did. Ooh, he's an old man. I am Emmerich. You're older than I thought you'd be. Nanette seems to go for the young, pointy-eared sorts. Yeah. What? Ghislaine de Carac's <laughs> wife, Nanette. You were asking about her. Ah, Ghislaine de Carac's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. That sort of attitude will never pay off. Ha! Ha! I was eager at first, but failure has leached all enthusiasm from me. This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. <laughs> then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. And you have doubts that they merely fled? A woman goes missing, and you'll either never find her, or you'll just find her body. Isabella, that's horrible. It's the truth, kitten. The world's not kind to women. I hope you're mm. wrong, madam. Uh. I think the disappearances are connected, and I suspect foul play is involved. Let's see here. Um. Yeah. Let's be a good Can person. Can I assist your investigation? It's no longer my investigation, Sirrah. You may take over if you wish. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here. Take my findings. He knows when to hold them. Perhaps you can make them. He knows when to hold them as well. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. Shit. A foundry in Lota. Oh, she doesn't I like. That. Okay. Do 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 do. Up we go. We go to the other place. Uh, here? What's in here? Again, I'm not entirely certain I'm supposed to be here. But, well, one quest is as good as another. We're going to just trap in here. Oop, trapped. All set. All settled. <sighs> oh yes, this is the right place. Oh. Let's see here. And let's do the exploding thing. We do a backstabby thing. This thing. Oh, demon. And I'm out of buttons to push. Next stab. Okay. Next stab. Alright. Do 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 do. Save. Okay, okay, this way. Looks like it's the way! Get rid of one of the guys. Of 
cry for my mother? Oh my. Okay. Any traps? Any traps? Any traps? Nope, nope, just dead things. Of course, dead things coming alive are usually a sign of bad evil people and or demons. Do our explodey, explodey thing. Hey, does Nero have? No, I don't know if I have any tactics for any of these characters. There we go. Now we have fire. Again, I'm not a big fan of the elemental animations. Doesn't seem to be quite right. You know? Save. And onward. What just that? Uh, trap. Done! Done. I like to put traps either at the top of or at the bottom of stairs. Middle of rooms. Oop. Um, that's odd. How wonderful. Oh. More vessels for our experiments. Crazy mages. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. This demon worship thing is a real turn-off. I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Uh, yeah. You do know I cut a path through your abominations, right? Good, good. The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Uh, yeah, your plan is not so, um, yeah, good. Good to know you're barking mad. That makes things easier. In days of old, the Devinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Are they supposed to be Tevinter? Yet they command us. Absurd. Maybe not. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. I like those hats. Kill the vessels only if you must. Yeah, okay, we're gonna... Um, let's uh, kill her... first. Well, not quite, but... Get in there. There we go. Last Ascent Helmet, uh, which is a really cool helmet. Let's see here. Not more. Uh, ooh, a Desire Demon. And we're all going to do Wow. That didn't take much. Okay. Grimoire of the Apprentice. Uh, let's see here. Descent. Last Ascent Helmet. 46 armor. Better than this. So we'll move that to junk. Move that to junk. Uh, move that to junk. Move that to junk. This neat little helmet. I also replaced my uh, boots. Gotta remember to get some. Back. Okay. I have runes. I haven't applied them to anything, so 
Oh, there's Karen. Let's talk to Karen. If we can. Is it... Is it over? Karen. Yes. That's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. So, when do we find out if this one's got a demon inside? The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Uh, Meryl? Meryl? You know something about this. Is he possessed? I don't know. <laughs> it's... It's clean. There's no scent of demons in his blood. Well, that's good. Uh, you can leave. Go ahead and leave, Karen. You've been through enough. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please. I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. Cullen needs to hear about this mess. He does. Um, we're gonna go and, uh, report, yes, gathering my party. Uh, let's, uh, let's go talk to Anders, I guess. I had a quest I was supposed to, so I'm going to. Yeah, see, right there. Cutscene. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You'd be surprised how people just tell me their darkest secrets. I must look trustworthy. Yay. You look... something. Yeah. True. Proud. Like, even if you don't agree with me, you'll be honest. I just. I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I am not going to romance him. Still creepy. Fine. What would you do? How would you try to stand against the Templars? If you're born with magic, they hear about it. They search your little rat's bit village and find you. They tell your parents they'll be thrown in prison if they ever ask about you. Stripped of their rights in the eyes of the Maker. And if you run away, they hunt you down. Again, and again, and again. Um, you're getting angry. You're starting to glow again. And since yours is the only head here, and I don't want to rip it off, I should stop. Yes. Sorry. Besides, we have so much to do before the Deep Roads. Next time, I'll try to keep to more... pleasant topics. Yeah, he doesn't... yeah. I don't really... yeah. Okay. Moving on. Do, 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 do. Well, this is probably a good place to stop. Yeah, I think we're gonna stop here. Did quite a bit, actually. So, Isabella, you're a captain. That's right, big girl. What of it? I don't remember your name on any registries. Every ship that docks has to declare. I never docked. And you're no port authority. And you are no merchant. Ooh, scrutiny. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we'll end it here. And, uh, so next time we'll continue on with more quests and doing stuff. And such. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.